Hey guys, Jake here. I thought I'd do a uh, quick video on the two handheld devices, the Cybeco and the Cybeco Extreme. You can see one of them's already on. That's the Extreme. But first, we're going to focus on this lime green Gatorade esque device. Let me zoom in, get a better view of this. As you can see, it's hooked up to a very uh, relatively old-fashioned serial port. So, uh, the way it gets its power is kind of dodgy. Like I said, very, very old-fashioned. But we're just going to bear with it. Alright. Turn this blighter on and watch the magic. just booting up hopefully we can get this thing to work yep yeah, seems to be working all right Let's go to games real quick. Let's try billiards. Almost. No, not quite. There's a chance that the battery might go dead, so I'm just going to give you a warning. But we'll see as how far we can go. Mm. Nope. And I'm already getting a warning that the batteries are going to die, and they just died. Well, what do I care? I'm getting new ones in about a month. So, that should be good. But anyway, that was the um, competent yet ill-fated demo of the first model of the Cybeco computer. Now, we go to the second model. The Cybeco Extreme, and this is where things get interesting. Let me zoom into this one a little more, give you guys a better view. Come to think of it, I think that's the uh, maximum zooming angle, or in English, screen village. But anyway. Let's get into this thing. I think, yep, we still have to set this up. So, as you can see, here's the contrast. Set the date, we don't care. Oh, kind of remembers me. But I'm 28, not 19. Just to no, we're not going to set that up. It's just three minutes. It actually takes three hours. So, as you can uh, see with this one, it definitely has a better screen plus a clearer sound chip. And we don't have to worry about low battery warnings. Because something tells me that this battery is intact and that it isn't damaged let's go into games 
and see what we can find. The only game that comes installed when it's in its factory setting is Fat Cash. I'm going to show you a little bit about how that works. Shows you the description there. But yeah, this is the default game. Um, it's interesting because in uh, Dr. Ashton's video where he did a similar comparison on both Cybercos, he didn't have fat cash on either one. So, I'm wondering how he got that off. This is the fat cash theme, if you will. <laughs> That's catchy. Oh, sorry for that delay. I was trying to see how this works. So basically what you do is uh, you uh, click on the squares of a similar color. And then uh, depending on what you click and how many there are, it clears a certain amount of blocks. And then... Uh, the more areas go down and the more blocks condense so that you can uh, clear out more and more and watch the others go down and yeah that's basically the premise of this game and uh, I want to say this is boring but nah I'm engaged more or less hmm I don't know guys okay good Let's see if we can clear this whole row hmm I'm cheating I'm not looking through the viewfinder <laughs> actually that's bad because then you guys can't see a damn thing. Anyway, yeah, this is getting a little too, um... Yeah, let's, let's just exit. Did I get a high score? This is the best score, apparently. Yeah, um... Anyway, let's get out of this. And, uh... Yeah, now, um, what was I going to show you? Oh, yeah, the, the cool thing about the uh, Cybeco Extreme is you can actually hook it up to your computer and you can play, you can actually transfer the games from uh, the internet onto your Cybeco Extreme. And uh, the thing about that is nowadays the Cybeco the cybercode.com website no longer exists and now it exists in archive form under the name uh, cybercode.net sorry I thought I was going to cough but um yeah cybercode.net has tons of games and apps that you can choose from and like I said you can uh, transfer those games onto your device through the easy loader application and in order to do that you need to uh, run the program through a virtual machine because um, the uh, thing doesn't run on modern computers so that's the whole draw of uh, getting these games to run in 2019 and a month from now 2020 and uh, I'm going to show you how this is done. So um, I'll see you guys uh, in a bit while I head over to my computer. All right, so I have my Cybico Extreme plugged in. You can see on the bottom right the uh, greenlit USB. That's Easy Loader. And what that does, that allows you to easily load your Cybico games 
onto your device. And um, I have two folders made up, main games and then games. The games folder, I'll start with that, is a larger folder full of the games that I downloaded from this archive resource called cybico.net. Now, this isn't the main Cybico website. The uh, That is cybico.com, and that's been offline for uh, ages. You can only access parts of it through uh, the Internet Archive. But anyway, um, these are all the games, and I'm going to get into, in a second, why they have each of these uh file names, why the file names are like this. Um, for example, here's a game, Alien Invasion 2, version 1.1.2, or 1.1.12, rather, 200X Cybico Inc. That's when you download the games, and um, I had to figure this out for myself. What Cybico.net doesn't tell you when you download the games is you actually have to format them a certain way and I'll take you to that situation now that I have in my main games folder now I made this main games folder for two reasons one so I can have a list of games uh, or a short list of a handful of games that are properly formatted so I won't have to cycle through the large games folder and have to sort everything out alph alphabetically and have to find these games. But another reason why I made this folder is um, because the backup system of the Cybico Extreme and the Cybico, they're not that great because the rechargeable batteries are dead and um, each time you plug in the USB, the backup system works kind of, but not really. It'll restore to, like, an earlier backup, and if you didn't have games on it, and just, like, a safe file of, like, fat cash game or something, it'll just show that. And um, it won't do, like, a full comprehensive backup. So anyway, with the unreliability of that, um, I just have this handful of games just to transfer them on the device readily so I can just have them and play them and whatever. And I'm going to show you um, how you put these games on the device. It's really as easy as one, two, three. You just click on the file and then like men's room for example just click on it and then you see there's my cytico that's set up from the easy loader here's the usb name is um at x t a g e s b that's the name of the device and then the sub the subfolder is called disk now you just click ok and then men's room. You see how small that file is? That's 7.99 kilobytes. And it's interesting to know because the um, storage space on the Cybico is actually just 500 kilobytes. It, it, it really, um, it's really far out. It, it still blows my mind. Like how, like these tiny file-sized games can be a bit complex. But anyway, these um, games are formatted this way because um, when you go into the games folder, for instance, you can't just put them on the device as is. This is the download information, and uh, this is... Um, when you get them from the website, for example, they have all this version and specs information, company name, all that. And what you actually have to do 
is um, delete all this extra information. And wherever there's a space, you're supposed to put an underscore in the file name. So this one, for example, I can do it right now. Um, is it going to? It's taking a while. There it goes. What you would do is you delete all this information and then you would make the file name air underscore brigade. And then what you could do is drag it into this folder and then click on this and transfer it to the device. Again, all you have to do just click on the game, click on the disk subfolder, and click OK. And that's it. That's how you transfer the game. Now, another thing to uh, keep in mind is there are some games, well, a lot of games, actually, um, with subtitles in it. For example, the Hangman series has different categories. Baseball, basketball, business, capitals. What you would do in that sense, and this is really interesting because, um, to my knowledge, you can only really fit one Hangman game on the device uh, when it comes to formatting because if you have two games with the same name, it'll say this file already exists even though they're two different games. But... Um, what happens on that end is you would shorten this, for example, to hang underscore man. But when you put the file on the device, the full file name, um, in other words, hangman baseball, is intact. And then, um, yeah, there's this weird thing about, you know, when you... Like I said, you put the full file name file on the device. It'll say some bullshit like, um, this game ran on a previous version of Cybico. It may not function correctly on Cybico Extreme. And um, that's actually a lie because there's actually nothing in the way of compatibility issues. Each game... Uh, runs fine regardless of the device without issues and the only um, thing upgraded from the Cybico Extreme is just um, other than it being 30 more dollars and then it had an updated keypad you don't have to worry about the infamous uh, dialing stylus to push the buttons and then the only other thing it has is an updated graphical interface. But, um, yeah, and then you wonder what makes it so extreme when, in fact, there are only about a handful of exclusive games that were made for it before it bit the dust in 2003. But, um, yeah, it's um, both of these things are... Uh, really good devices and it is really easy I mean I like how it's really easy to uh, put the games on the device I know I've seen um, one YouTube video in particular tried to get um, easy loader running and he was able to the guy was only able to get a few apps running before the uh, computer um, crash and it got the blue screen of death but that's what the um, virtual machines is for now uh, another thing that I should point out is on the cybercode.net website um, what it recommends is that you get a virtual box and then you run um, Windows 2000 service pack 4 they were very specific um, and I just kind of uh, follow the beat of my own drum, if you will,
because I couldn't get VirtualBox to work, let alone install. It had this rolling back issue, and it had this, like, stupid uh, fatal error thing. So I just went with my gut and uh, randomly tried Windows ME, and it worked fine. But anyway, that's how you get your Savico games running in 2019 because um, th this um, this thing pretends to work on modern computers. Like you can see the icon for the USB and the Psi navigator, but um, but it doesn't. Um, you can try like day and night, but it you just can't get it to uh, recognize that there's a USB device because the Cybico Extreme and the Cybico are so old. Um, the Easy Loader um, functions with the Cybico Extreme, but previously how you would get games on your Cybico original is by the Psy loader and I think there's still a functional download that you can get through archive.org um, but yeah that's how it works it's pretty cool um, how these uh, devices have gotten still have gotten support even though it's relatively modest it's not the best, but you have all these games and apps to choose from on Cybercode.net. And uh, it's really awesome. Plus, there's, like, emulation on MAME. I'll look more into that. Maybe I'll do a video on that once I get time. But I hope you enjoyed this segment of this video where I show you how to um, transfer the games on the device in the modern age so um yeah and then i guess this concludes the video entirely and i hope you guys learned something as always feel free to subscribe if you want to and uh i'll see you soon thanks